That's pretty phenomenal. Hey guys, it's Mike Chin here in Seoul, Korea. One of my favorite things to eat anywhere is Korean barbecue. Just a mountain of, of different types of meat sizzling, looking all pretty right in front of you. You can't beat that. Now really the only drawback about Korean barbecue is that typically it's not cheap. Which is why just like hot pot, I typically go for the all you can eat barbecue places. And I want to show you guys a couple of places I found in Seoul that if you love the mountain of meat you get at Korean barbecue, and you want it at a really reasonable price, then you're gonna to wanna to get to know the couple of places I'm going to in this video. And right now I'm in Ghana, which is typically not the place you think about when, when you're thinking about value, but it does exist. Let me show you. Let me explain the menu here. So there's option A, B, and F, this is the chandelier option, I don't know. Option A, which is assortment of meats. I, I think this restaurant is mainly just pork, which makes sense because their mascot is like a little pig. And you get a stew and assortment of some. Option B, you get all that, and you get some fried chicken. And then the chandelier option, you get all of B with unlimited rice or noodles. And drinks. We're gonna go for this one because this is like $12, this is like $13.50. This is like 16 bucks. We're on vacation, so let's go all out. And this place is packed, lying out the door. They told us you need to get here at six o'clock, even 5.30. It's gonna be lying already. Luckily, it's only about a 30 minute wait. Soy sauce chicken, kamta, papa. And, my, and of course, my all you can eat fried soy sauce chicken. I'm gonna just ignore that little green part right there. Let's just focus on the prettier parts of this with a couple types of dipping sauces. They start you off with a couple pieces of pork belly. And on the grill, you have some garlic, sprouts, kimchi cooking, and some fermented bean soup. A couple different types of bowls. And they got a little station over there where you can get all unlimited rice and, uh, and unlimited veggies for your sum. I'm looking forward to my cold noodles because you gotta have some cold noodles if you're eating Korean barbecue. At this station, there's tons of kimchi, Tons of uh, bean sprouts, scallions, tofu, garlic, fermented bean sauce, and also check this out, pig skin. I don't think I've ever grilled this before. This is something you don't see a lot in uh, Korean barbecue places in the States, but people love grilling this stuff here. And this is the rice. I'm gonna skip this, because I'm mainly here for the meat and, and the noodles. So the next station, you get some fresh veggies, some sesame leaves. And I don't know if this is something sacrilegious to find at a Korean barbecue place or not, but you have, you have kale right there. So you go ahead and grab the other types of meats you want for your barbecue here. There's some pork slices, some beef slices, and this is the bean powder. You use this to dip your pork skin in. And here's your other types of pork. You got some pork jowl, you got some pork bellies, and also you gotta dress for battle. Basically, they limit how much meat you grab because they only give you like one wooden plate where you can only use this to grab your meat. And right now, I have a couple pieces of pork belly sitting here, so I gotta finish that. First of all, I'm gonna try this chicken. Now, typically, I mean, fried chicken, it, 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 unless it's really, really good, I wouldn't recommend it on an all you can eat buffet, but I had to try it. That's pretty phenomenal. Whoa, that's really good fried chicken. Holy. Wow, the skin is really, really crispy. It's a little sweet, a little spicy already. Uber juicy, oh my gosh. Oh, this is good fried chicken. I definitely so far recommend option B. Wow, that is really, really good. Problem with a wondering dish, it's really easy to go overboard. You have problems stopping yourself. Let's start grilling. Soup's all right, not the greatest. Juicy, this pork belly is. Oh, yeah. I've been dreaming of cold noodles since I was in New York. This is one of my most favorite things in Korea ice in the broth. 
Oh, that's so nice. Your Korean barbecue experience is not complete without some cold noodles. You gotta have it. I didn't know a ticket to hog heaven could only cost about 15 bucks. There's something so clean about the flavor of the pork here. I love it with a little additional sear. It still has so much fat and juice. Eat it with some of the noodles. That's as good as a pork belly you will ever have. That is so juicy. Stir fried kimchi, a little sprouts. Now it's a party. Tell me that's not as you clean the most perfect beefy lullaby. A little sesame oil. That's all you really need. Sesame oil, a little salt. Wow. I just took a bite out of perfection right there. Few things in the world are as perfect as a brisket and a Korean barbecue. Few things. Now this is gonna be really fun. Pork skin grill. The pork jaw is one of my favorite things at Korean barbecue. Like a sesame leaf, some different cuts of the pork, a little scallion, a little stir fried kimchi, bits of roasted garlic, some fermented bean sauce on top. Make a little Korean barbecue taco. There's just something so poetic about this. But just so many flavors working together. From the wonderful fragrance from the parala leaves, to the fat steeping everywhere from the pork belly, to the crunch of the kimchi and the bean sprouts. I mean, you could, you could write a poem about that bite. All that together, that bite really just, just fills you with a sort of food euphoria. So the pork skin is not overly fat, it's too overwhelming when you bite down on it. But you're gonna get a nice, delicious, gelatinous texture. The pork skin is chewy, it's flavorful. For me, I gotta chase it with some veggies. Otherwise, it's still gonna be a little too much for me. I just love the whole noodles and meat combo. Two of my favorite things on the planet, noodles and meat. And with their powers combined, you get something truly delicious. Nothing I love more than coming to Korea and enjoying a delicious Korean barbecue, especially at this quality and at this price point. Honestly, if you're gonna come here, unlimited cold noodles are only an extra $4, so I, I would do that any day of the week. But if you just want the meat, that's all you care about, which is totally understandable, I get you. That's only 12 bucks, including tax, and they don't tip in this country. That's one of the best all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue deals you're gonna find anywhere in the world. All right, guys, like I said, I, I have another place in mind. You gotta check this place out. It's probably my favorite all-you-can-eat barbecue places here in Korea. Ready? Let's go. All right, I'm heading to the second all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue place. Um, this is a new location. I usually go to the one in the Hyundai district, um, but this one is brand new. It just opened up. It's located on University Street. This restaurant is called Tonkin Galbi, and my friend Jamie showed me this place uh, last year when I was in Seoul, and I immediately fell in love with it. Their specialty here is spicy galbi. It's pork galbi, and with it, you can get uh, you can get cuts of beef for 50% off if you get the all-you-can-eat all option, which is only 11,000 won, so about $11. When they told me the spicy one was actually sold out for now, they're making some more. It'll be ready in about 30, 40 minutes. Uh, so this will have to do until then, which is fine. Hey, whatever member of the Gobby family, I love them all. And I think for my cut of beef, I'm gonna get some sirloin. Uh, another reason I really, really like this place, this is a charcoal grill. And really, that adds so much more of a smoky flavor than a gas grill. Also, what you want to do is take some of that onion. Happy Korean barbecue part two. The galbi here 
is absolutely amazing. Juicy beyond words. Really perfect with some onions. This is gonna make you about as happy as you can possibly be as a meat lover. Just the juiciest pieces of pork. This place never fails to make me so happy. Take a bite of the pork, taste it with the chili. No, you got both types of heat in your mouth. Ooh, I think it's spicy. I order of noodles, and this costs three dollars. Also, what I love about Korean barbecue here is that they change the grill literally every five minutes. Like in the US, sometimes you're sitting there with a, with a used grill for like an hour, no one cares. But here, they take their barbecue really, really seriously. This thing right now cooked to a perfect medium. And look how juicy this baby is. All you need is a little salt, a little sesame oil, and just enjoy. Oh, it doesn't get better than that. That's a perfect bite of beef. So unbelievably tender. Barely have to chew that. By the meat, by the noodles. That's how good times are made in Korea for me. Seriously, this right here. This is why I'm having the best time. Spicy Galbi is the main reason why I love this place so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. Perfect amount of heat. The reason I like it so much is that it's not like a normal amount of heat. They really add on the spice in this Galbi. I mean, this thing, you're gonna feel it on your tongue and you're gonna love it in your heart. Trust me, you're gonna wanna come back here. The quality, unbelievable for $11. Second serving of noodles. I feel like my trip to Korea is never complete without a couple really good meals of barbecue. And this, this place, and the place I went to yesterday, my favorite for Korean barbecue. And there's, there's big differences too. Like, the place yesterday, if you want more for the dollar, that's definitely your spot. I mean, all you can eat, unlimited noodles, unlimited fried chicken, everything for about 15 US dollars, different cuts of pork, really nice thin beef brisket. You cannot beat that value. But I feel like if you want more quality meat, better flavor, this is your place. I mean, if you don't want all the excess, you don't want to get any extra noodles, you don't want to get any extra beef, it's only $11. But I highly recommend the beef. I mean, what I ate was melt-in-your-mouth steak, and that's only about $5 extra. But really, either one of these places is gonna make you happy. And of course, both locations are listed down below in the description box. Guys, check it out next time you're in so let me know how you like it. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, I'll see you later.